<laughs> right, we now go to a round called Party Quirks, which uh, features Paul Merton as the host of a party. The others have an envelope in front of them, each of them, with a, a quirk, a physical characteristic or a way of behaviour. If you all like to look in your envelope, see what it is. And the idea of the game, if you've seen this before, is that uh, Paul has to try and guess what these quirks are in the course of the improvisation. So, you've all seen them. Hopefully not Paul. Come forward, please, Paul, and start your, your party. Should be good at this by now. They're lining up ready. Party going, is it, Paul? Yep. yep. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi, George. How are you? I'm fine. I'll have soda water, please. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have Tizer and like it. <laughs> I, have to set up, I have to set up my chemistry set while I'm here. Will that be all right for the party? <laughs> That's all right. What sort of a chemistry set are you going to set up? You're not going to do an experiment? Yes, I am. I have to. <laughs> Well, I'll just use so I, all I need is soda water and plutonium 235. That's all. <laughs> the plutonium 25 is next to the twiglets on the table. <laughs> all right, put it in. Very good. Hello? I don't normally use the door. You're very privileged. Oh, I will come through the window. Oh, you've come in? Yep. Why don't you normally use the door? What? <laughs> there are no Iranians around here, are there? No. No. Pity. <laughs> Next door, we're not too sure. We're about to I'll it. check him out later. Right. <laughs> ah, you. Who are you? you? Hey, 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 I'm telling my mom. Hey, who oh, you're weird, Mister? He's clean. <laughs> it's a nice stand gun that you have there. It's you, you're a commander, aren't you? You're a, a, a commander. An yes, SS, a, SAS commander. Yeah, yes, yes, I'll give you that. Oh, well done. He was scaring me. Yes. I know, like, just let me get it. You're, you're a bit of a precocious brat. Precocious okay. brat, I think, does that, yes. Precocious brat? Nine-year-old genius, we call him. Nine-year-old uh... genius. <clears throat> George. I think you've got some explaining to do, young man. <laughs> it's Danny LaRue. <laughs> <laughs> Danny LaRue is very close. I but... spoke to you and Peter earlier on. Yeah. I made it quite clear that when I want you to use green dishcloths, I will tell you. <laughs> When I want you to use the red ones with the green dogs on, I will also tell you when I finish smoking 80,000 million cigarettes. OK, then. <laughs> That's you... fair enough. I'll tell you what, mate, what I'd like to know is... You know this sort of dumb, indented look just above my nose? Yes. Was, was it because somebody hit me in the forehead with a didgeridoo? I don't know. <laughs> Ten seconds. But, um, uh, you see but, my... Yeah? You see my hair? Yeah. The way it's kind of blonde and sort of annoyingly Glenn Hoddle. Yes. <laughs> sort of almost like somebody in an Australian yeah. soap opera. Oh, that's it. Well done. Phew. Oh. It, it was... It was just getting worrying there, Paul, but you've got that.